Mitch Dewar here with Pinion, a division of Keiko Isom. Soybeans and corn pushed both their old and new crop contracts to new highs this past week, and wheat rallied along as well. Corn bulls are looking towards the hot and dry weather in Brazil as their second crop moves into pollination. Things here domestically aren't off to a great start, as a good portion of the Midwest saw a snowstorm this week with low temperatures, which kept the planters in the shed. The old crop May futures closed over $6 for the first time since 2013. With new crop corn surging to new highs as well, soybean bulls have been trying to buy more acres and push the November futures contract through the $13 mark midweek. Wheat has been on quite the run here since the first week of April when the market had fallen to five month lows. Wheat has followed the corn market up as wheat is making its way into the livestock feed throughout the world. We continue to see attractive prices in the grains and we haven't reached the seasonal time period when the trade typically starts to trade a domestic weather scare. Over in the livestock market, things have been a little shaky the past couple weeks. June lean hogs futures contract reached a high of 110 and have fallen back on fears of being overbought. In both live and feeder cattle, we have seen a huge sell-off since reaching new highs in the deferred contracts. Box beef has seen great demand, which has pushed its price to record levels for the month of April. In the cash cattle area, we have watched trade slowly creep higher, but has become stagnant again due to the large future sell-off. We are among exciting times here in the grain sector with a lot to talk about in regards to marketing. To help navigate the volatility of these markets, give us a call at 888-452-8751. I'm Mitch Dewar with Pinion, a division of Keiko Isom.